Hey everyone. So in this video today we are talk about that how to integrate that chat gpt model in vs code right so we have a lot of extension available in vs code but uh, there are a uh, few of the extensions are really works uh, with along with that developers perfectly right so let's see uh, so first thing i can create one folder new folder gpt vs code so i can just uh, create one folder so in that i can use command prompt so i can open the vs code so in that code dot so now vs code is open so let me close that uh, command prompt so once open the vs code so then go to the extension tab on the left hand side right so in that uh, you need to search that code gpt4 code gpt if you type that so there are multiple code gpt will be there it's few of the things are work few of the things really not works but uh, we don't care about that so we can open that official open ai inside vs code so in that um, you can just install it so it will take some few minutes to install that vs code so after that once you install that you can close it and uh, go to the workspace tab and uh, you can i just create demo.py like that okay so once you created the python file so i can right click and uh, there is a ask code gpt is there right so in that so it will ask the question so i can type provide simple flask application accept all types of methods in python so i just typing let's see so now the code gpt i am thinking so that means in the back end level that um, it will communicating with the chat gpt model using open ai library and uh, on the first time it will be asking that uh, your api key so you can get the api key from that uh, beta.openai.com so now see that uh, flask code is ready and uh, so i can copy the code i can just place it so now the code is ready it's pretty crazy right because on the fraction of second so you will get that full code actually so now from this code you can generate that debugging uh, module and a unit test case file and uh, uh, everything you can generate the comments so all those things you can create so let me you can select the code and uh, just right click and uh, we have a uh, plenty of options will be there regarding with that code gpt so i can choose uh, compile and run explain refactor document find problems unit test so first uh, uh, i am very curious about that unit test uh, code gpt so it will be generated in the unit test case file from the script actually <clears throat> so i can click that let it run yeah now uh, that unit test case file is generated so what you need to do is you can just simply copy the code and uh, so i can create another file called test.py uh, so in that you will create you will just paste the code actually so test accept all methods the like class so inside that you can see that setup test get request post put patch delete option so all those things it will be mocking the data with the testing true and uh, it will be mocking that some mock object along with it put request to receive the response to data like that so now you have a unit test case also completed right so within minutes uh, you will get that test script and uh, that whole full script actually so let me close it so once you get the code you can close it just simply we don't need to save it all and uh, so after that uh, i can again select the code so in that uh, there is a explain the code gpt so this one also i'm very curious so i can choose that so it will be i hope it will be explaining that code for that uh, what it written right so let me wait okay so now that explanation we will get and this code starts from web server get post all the methods and accept all connection so in that app dot run will be run and debug option Uh, it will be print the debugging information to the console so you can just copy it and uh, 
you can just create another file called readme so in that readme you can paste that uh, how it is run so that's all so now readme also generated and the next part i can right click and uh, there is a document code gpt right so in that if i click that it will be generating that documentation of that code so it will be generating yeah in that you can see that uh, documentation of the code so each of the lines why it works and uh, how it is going to work and uh, what are the libraries so you can just simply copy it and uh, uh, you can just put it in that And this type documentation so in that if i just paste that now documentation also ready and uh, that next part i can just right click and uh, so there is a refactor code gpt is there so i can just click that and it will be refactoring that code yeah so now the code also will be refactored and uh, see uh, it's very awesome actually um Let's see so if you see that all the methods once you received so you can see that all the methods uh okay models are same it will be just differentiate get post put patch delete options so this one only say whether we return option will be the same so in that part it will be just refactoring that once accept all the messages comes it will be just appending that request start method request is received so it's pretty awesome actually so it's mind blowing uh and uh, after that uh, so i can just again i can just copy the code ask code gpt so in that uh, add it's for this code so i can just type it and uh, let's see yeah now the code also gets ready so you can see that i can just copy it and can just paste the code and, and let me close it so you can see that before the days we need to write that line by line the commenting line which line we have, why we need to use like that right but uh, in the single click it will be fill up in that all the details right so it's really really amazing thing actually so don't forget to subscribe my channel because in my channel 98 percentage of viewers are not subscribed to my channel just support me and uh, you can see that in that extension there is a code gpt so you can save it for your later and uh, if you really like that video please like that video and uh, keep subscribe my channel and uh, for more videos you can add the comments and uh, thanks for watching have a nice day yeah bye